So today we are on lesson number nine, Claudia. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a lot of re review work in this uh, lesson. We'll talk about the simple present tense of our regular verbs and the verb to be, uh, American culture, the pharmacy, and going to the doctor. Claudia, what do you like to do? Um, I like to go to the park. I like to exercise. Okay. What do you love to do? I love uh, play basketball. I love to play basketball. To okay. play basketball. And what do you hate to do? Um, uh, I hate uh, when when I don't finish my chores, chores. Okay, so you could say I hate to not finish my chores. <laughs> I hate to not. <laughs> okay. Do you normally continue to study English when you get home after class? Uh, yes, I'm continuing to study English when I, I make my homework. When I do my homework. I do. My homework. I okay, do. good. Do you decide to do things easily? Um, the, dependent. It depends. Depends. Yeah. Tell me about that. What do you mean? It depends. Um, what kind of things I need to decide? For example, can you give me an um, example? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> when when is uh, when is easy? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? But, uh, when this, uh, when I need to decide, uh, go to if it's easily. Okay, so like a regular routine activity. Yeah, you decide easily, but if it's a big decision, you have a hard time making a decision. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, good. Do you ever demand to talk to a manager when you get bad service? Uh, no, I don't demand to talk uh, bad service. Okay. Do you deserve to get some special recognition at work right now? Mm, no, I don't deserve uh, to get some special recognition at work. Recognition at work. Mm -hmm. Remember, Claudia, the, the rest of the sentence, the only thing you change is this part, right? The rest of the sentence, you say the same way. It okay. is do you need to do anything important this weekend? Uh, yes, I, I need uh, to do something important this weekend. Like what? Uh, I do my taxes. <laughs> I need to do? I need to do. My, my taxes. taxes. Oh, yeah. You better get on that, Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ask me some questions about pain, about things that might hurt. Okay. My question or your question? <laughs> Ask me questions. Okay. <laughs> does your arm hurt? Uh, no, my arm does not hurt. Does your stomach hurt? No, my stomach does not hurt. Uh, does your head hurt? Uh, no, my head does not hurt. Does your elbow hurt? Mm, sometimes my elbows hurt, but they don't hurt right now. Okay. Does your hand hurt? Uh, yes, my hand hurts. Does your leg hurt? No, my leg does not hurt. Okay, good. Let's talk about going to the uh, the doctor's office. Claudia, can you, can you read this to me? Mm -hmm. In the United States, the doctor's office can be very uncomfortable. Uh, he, here is a typical scenario. When you first arrive, 
you check in with the re reception? Receptionist. Recep receptionist. The receptionist asks you for your name, ID, and proof of insurance. The receptionist gives you paperwork to complete. Even, even if you have insurance, you may have to pay a copay. Uh, after you complete your paperwork, the nurse calls your name. You go with the nurse. The nurse performs a routine check of your vital signs, blood pressure, weight, height, etc. ETC or Etc. You said it right. That's that's what we say. <laughs> the nurse asks you basic information about your health and medical history. Very good, Claudia. So this is what you might be prepared to answer at the doctor's office. What's your name? Uh, my name is Claudia. How are you today? I am good. Thank you. What's wrong? Um. Uh, my arm is hurt. <laughs> my ma, my arm hurts. Uh, hurts. My arm hurts. Are you tired? Uh, yes, I am tired. Do you have a cough? Uh, no, I don't have a cough. cough. Do you have a fever? Uh, no, I don't have a fever. Do you have pain? Uh, yes, I have pain. Does your head hurt? Uh, yes, my head hurt a little my head hurts hurts does your throat hurt uh no my throat is not hurt does not hurt does, does not hurt mm -hmm. hurt is a regular verb does not hurt does your stomach hurt <clears throat> uh no does my stomach hurt no my I stomach does not hurt does not hurt no my stomach does not hurt Okay, Claudia, keep reading. After this, the doctor usually asks the same question. If you have any problems, the doctor writes you a prescription. Then the receptionist schedule a follow-up follow appointment and you leave. If you need medication, you take the prescriptions to a pharmacy. All right, so let's practice. Hi, what's wrong? Uh, I have a cold. Describe your symptoms. I have a cold, a fever, and I am tired. Are you allergic to any medicine? No. Okay, take two ibuprofen and try to get some sleep. <clears throat> okay, thank you. All right, so imagine Claudia, you have a cough. Okay, so let's practice with this. What's wrong? Uh, I have a cold. Cold. Okay, describe your symptoms. Uh, I have a, um, how do you say, tos reseca? <laughs> uh, a dry yes. cough, a dry cough. Dry cough. And how do you say, um, tos um, con flemas? Yeah, with congestion. Okay, congestion. Okay. I have a congestion cough. A congested, uh huh. A cough with congestion, or with a dry con cough with congestion. Are you allergic to any medicine? Uh, no. Okay. I I'm going to prescribe you some cough syrup. Uh, follow the instructions and try to get some sleep. Okay, thank you. All right, now you have a sore throat. Hi, what's wrong? I have a sore throat. Describe your symptoms. Um, oh, I, I, my, my throat is hurts. My throat hurts. Don't, hurts. don't say is, it's a regular mm -hmm. verb, Claudia. Okay. Okay, my, my, throat, my throat hurts. hurts. <clears throat> Are you allergic to any medicine? Uh, no, I, no, I am not allergic to medicine. Okay, here are some throat lozenges. Uh, 
take two throat lo take a throat lozenge uh, once every hour and try to get some sleep. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, now you have a fever. Hi, what's wrong? Um, I have a fever. Uh, do you have any other symptoms? Uh, yes, my head hurts. Okay. Are you allergic to medicine? Uh, no, I am not allergic to medicine. Take two ibuprofen and try to get some sleep. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Good, Claudia. <laughs> So healthcare, you probably know, is not free in the United States. Uh, many employers offer healthcare for full-time employees, or alternatively, you can buy a private plan. If you don't have health insurance, try to find a free clinic and make a plan in case of an emergency, as the regular emergency room can be very, very, very <laughs> expensive here. Okay. All right. Uh, what are the parts of the body? Number one. <clears throat> head. head okay two uh, arm uh it's not the arm Eyes, uh, shoulder yeah shoulder. <laughs> number three uh, yeah chest four arm yes the arm five elbow good six uh hand seven Arm? Uh, la Lama wrist. wrist. The wrist. <clears throat> Eight. Stomach? Stomach with a K. Stomach. Stomach. Number nine. Um, knee? Ten. Leg? Eleven. Um, ankle? And then 12. Good. Good. All right, so let's practice. You've got some pain. Uh, so number one, Claudia, what's wrong? Uh, my head hurts. Number two, what's wrong? My arm hurts. Number three, what's wrong? My back hurts. Number four, what's wrong? My stomach hurts. Number five, what's wrong? My hand hurts. Number six, what's wrong? My leg hurts. Mm, it's not. Is, uh, oh, number six, number six. Yeah, my leg hurts. I'm sorry, I was already looking at number seven. What's wrong? Number seven. My foot hurts. Uh huh. And what's wrong if it's plural? Two feet. Uh, um, okay, for both these, is foot, no feet. So what's wrong? Uh, my feet hurt. Good. All right. Feet hurt. So imagine that you're meeting me for the first time. Ask me some questions to try to get to know me. Um. You can just use with, these questions. With, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, who cook in your home? Or you yes. know? Claudia, look at these questions uh -huh. right here. Oh, okay. right here. <laughs> What's your name? My name is David. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from the United States. Uh, where did you work? Uh, I work in my house in Denver. What did you do for fun? For fun, I like to dance and play music. Uh, who do you like with? Uh, I live with my son. Mm -hmm. I live with my son and my mom. What do you like to eat? Ooh, wow, I like to eat everything, <laughs> but my favorite <laughs> food, my favorite food is steak and pizza. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Uh, do you like sports? Mm, I like to play sports sometimes. All right, my best friend's name is Gene. He is from Macomb, Mississippi. He is a structural engineer. He likes to cook, watch the news, and walk with his dog. He lives with his wife, Juanita. He likes to eat fish and lamb. His favorite color is blue. 
He likes to watch the Atlanta Braves play baseball. Claudia, tell me about your best friend. Okay, uh, my best friend name is uh, Alexandra. Uh, he's from Mexico. Uh, he, uh, she, I'm sorry, she lives, she is from Mexico. Uh, she live in, lives in Mexico. She likes to uh, dance, Zumba dance. Um, she likes um, fun with, with uh, her children. Uh, she likes to have fun with her children? Yeah. Yeah, you have to say have fun. Huh? Have, have fun. Yep. Okay. She have fun. She likes. She likes, she likes to have fun. fun. She likes have fun. There you go. With her children. Good. Uh, he likes to eat Mexican food. Um, eat. Uh, she. <laughs> she. She like to eat Mexican food. She likes to eat. Mexican food. Uh, her favorite color is black. Okay, good. All right, story time, new to America. Can you read this to me? Mm -hmm. uh, Maria is new to the United States. She comes here speaking only her native language, which is Spanish. She moves to Denver with her son, Julio and they stay with some relatives during their first month. She looks for an apartment, but has a hard time because she does not speak English. They finally, finally find an apartment where the landlord speaks Spanish. However, the apartment is in a bad neighborhood and it's not very nice. The landlord treats Maria poorly and takes advantage of her. The apartment has many problems too. The water heater is broken, so there is not hot water. The faucet in the kitchen is dripping. The roof has a leak also. Maria complains to the landlord, but he makes her pay to fix everything. Keep going. They are there for only two months when a neighbor's dog jumps over the fence. The dog runs to where Maria's son invites him. Maria puts her body in between the dog and her son and she gets beaten too. Then the dog stops and runs away when Maria star, starts scream at it. Afterwards, they have to go to the hospital. They have a very difficult time trying to talk to the doctor, but they had sti stitches and rabies shots and go home. Shaking, Maria takes her son upstairs. They stay in the apartment all weekend. She tries to speak with the owner of the dog, but he doesn't speak Spanish. Then Maria tries to find another apartment, but she can't because she doesn't speak English. She and her son walk everywhere. One day, her son starts coughing badly. Uh, he has an asthma attach, attack. All the, right. Attack. Asthma attack. All the walking is making his asthma worse. Maria takes him to the doctor, but she can't communic communicate with him. 
and is not sure what he recommends for her son's asthma. She knows that she has to buy a car, so she calls up the Honda dealer. She talks to a salesman, but he does not speak Spanish again. She can do what she wants to do because she doesn't speak English. Uh, frust frustrated, she finally decides to find an English school. She knows that her and her son's future will begin to depend on English. So who's in the story? Uh, Maria and her son. Who's the story? Uh, what is the story about? Um, uh, the story is about um, language. <laughs> Mm, that's part of it. Um, she ha she has a a lot of problems because she that she doesn't uh, speak English. Yeah. When does the dog bite them? Ah. Uh, The dog by then in, <clears throat> I forget. When and does the dog bite them? Pardon me? When does the dog bite them? Uh, when in, in her apartment? No. That would be where I'm asking when. Oh, when? Mm -hmm. In in some part uh, of her body. When, Claudia, when, cuando? Two months. <laughs> two months. After, uh, yeah, after they're there for two months, after two months. <laughs> when, when, when? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I understand uh, in when, when part of body, her body. No, 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 that would be where. Where? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, where do they move? No. Where do they move? Uh, they move to United States. Mm -hmm. Why is learning English important? Uh, because we need to uh, talk with the with with uh, the person here. We need to talk to people, yeah. To people. Yeah, for, as we saw in the story, a variety of situations, mm -hmm. right? Looking for housing, uh, going to the doctor, going to the hospital, buying a car. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't Maria try to learn English first? Why doesn't uh, Maria try? Uh, I think he, I think she, she uh, think is not important. <laughs> yeah, maybe. In the, in the first time. Yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> probably a common story, right? Like when you first came here to the United States, did you start studying English right away? And, and she, she need to work for us and People, yeah, people get here, they start working, they start living, and yeah. How do you think she will learn English? Because because she needs uh, too many things. She needs? She needs uh, to do many things here. 
but yeah. how that that doesn't answer the question, Claudia. Uh -huh. How do you think she will learn English? How do you think she will learn English? Will, uh, Hi, Rafa. She needs. Good morning. Claudia. Good morning. Uh, she needs to go to the language school. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any similar stories to Maria and Julio? Yes, I have two many similar stories. <laughs> Can you give us an example? Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's the same story. When I go to the doctor, it's very difficult uh, commun communication with my doctor. Yeah. And every time I say, do you have somebody speak Spanish or on the phone? Uh, she say I need to translate in in the in the phone and everything like that. <laughs> Similar. All right. So let's review here. Do or duh, Rafa. Number one. What does Gloria look like with Sao makeup? What? Claudia, mm -hmm. number two. Mm -hmm. What? Do you and your husband think of the movie? What do the teen uniform look like? What does? Does teen, huh? Yes. We're not talking about the teen. Yes. We're talking about the uniform. Even if we were talking about the team, the team is singular. It's one uh, team. Yes. But, but okay. here we're talking about the uniform which is also singular. What does the team uniform look like? Oh, perfect, yes. <clears throat> uh, what do the team members think of the new coach? Does she need my help? Do you have my pencil? Do they want a drink? Does Mark leave video games? Does Mark like video games? Or like, <laughs> sorry. Do I drive every day to work? Do Jen and Yon want to come with us? All right, good job. All right, fill in the blanks with these verbs. Try and choose the correct verb. Rafa, number one. Can you please repeat what you just said? Yep. For dinner, I eat roasted chicken with a homemade pineapple salsa. Do you understand English? I have $20 in my purse today. I drink wine and sometimes beer. I learn English at the language school. I always order hamburgers for lunch at the restaurant. You could say order or you could also say eat, but yeah, order works good. I live in Denver. All right, good job. I don't know why the formatting is so bad on this one. Okay, guys, take turns asking each other questions with the verb be. Claudia to Rafael, go ahead. Are you, uh, are you cold? No, I am not cold, but it's cold outside, I think. Uh, are you housekeeper? Are you a housekeeper? If you ask what about a, being a profession, make sure to use a. Okay. Are you a housekeeper? There you go. No, I am not a housekeeper. Are you a carpenter? 
No, I know a carpenter. I am not. I no, am I not. Am, no, I am not a carpenter. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, are you? Uh, are you in Denver? Uh, yes, I am in Denver. Are you hungry? No, I am not hungry. Are you a student? Uh, yes, I am a student. Are you a server? Yes, I am a server. Are you ugly? Uh, no, I am not ugly. <laughs> Are you thirsty? Yes, I am thirsty. Are you... Are you at the work? Uh, no, I am not in the work. At work. At work. At work. At work. Okay, good. Now, take turns asking each other about your family members. Uh, is your son nice? Yes. He is nice. Is your brother smart? Uh, yes, he is smart. Uh, is your daughter short? Uh, yes, she is short. Um, is your husband boring? Uh, no, he's not boring. Is your um, um, son rich? No, he is not rich. Okay. Is your... mm -hmm. Good. All right. In this level, we talked a little bit about math, like addition, five plus five equals 10, and subtraction, 10 minus five equals five. We've also got multiplication, two times four equals eight, or division, 10 divided by five equals two. Claudia, how much is four plus six? It is 10. All right, Claudia to Rafa. How much is... Uh... 50 minus 20? Minus 20. Minus. It is 30. How much is 100 minus 40? It is 60. How much is 5 by 3? 5 times 30. Times? Times. How much is times uh, five times three? It is thirteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Yes, sixteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. How much is eleven divided three? Eleven. Uh, twelve uh, divided three. Divided uh, by, we say divided, divided by. Divided by three. Divided by three. Uh, it is four. Yes. How much is 16 plus 10? It is 26. All right, take turns asking each other these questions. What is interesting about your culture? culture? Um, well, we are a Caribbean country, and we like to, to dance, we like to sing, and we like to drink a lot of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are names different here than in your country? Our names uh, is about the person, so about the... The names, the names, the name. Yeah, names uh, about the persons or, or the... Person, yes. Uh, yes, are, are, uh, some, some names are different here than in my country. What do foreign, foreigners think about your country? Well, in this moment, foreign, foreigner think that my country is not good because of the communist regime. What is the most common name Oh, I just want to say something, Rafa. I think we don't think your country is bad. We think your <laughs> your politics are bad. Your your leader is bad. Oh. Um, yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. I understand. What is the, the most common name for a woman in your country and for a man? Uh, I think uh, Maria for women, Maria, um, Laura, and for for a man, uh, Juan, Carlos, Pedro. <laughs> what is the boss? Unusual, unusual, Un unusual, unusual. What is the most unusual? name you have heard? Wow. It's a... <laughs> and, uh... Well, I don't know, but this uh, some Sometimes I I heard uh, that a guy, the name's guy was Wenceslaus. But uh, I don't know. Wenceslaus. Wenceslaus? Yes. I know I don't know if he's a and where did you hear that name? In Venezuela or here? No, in Venezuela. In Venezuela, wow. Yeah, that's unusual. <laughs> Do you like your name? Do you have a nickname? Uh, yes, I like my name. And I have a nickname too. What is your uh, nickname? <laughs> my nickname is Piri. Like P-I-R-I. -I. My dad, uh, when I, I, I am baby, my dad uh, say, Pirinola, like the, you know the. Pirinola. <laughs> yeah, you know you you know the Pirinola for for game. Yes. Yes. I don't know what is that. Yeah, Pirinola is a, is a, is a play, but it's a object. The Pirinola is an object that you can play with that that have a an stick. Ah uh, no. No, it's not the uh -uh. same. No, it's not the same. Perinola, uh -uh. okay. In my country, this is Perinola. Oh, Why, okay. What is Perinola in your in country? my country? Perinola is is a little thing uh with you you turn turn with your your fingers in uh -huh. the in the uh how do you say alrededor? Around 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 the, the Perinola, the thing he uh say Take two, take three, uh, like like the uno, the play uno. Like the game uno, okay. Uh, yeah, take two or take three, but it's a little thing. Uh, it has a, a little um, stick, but but in the in the bottle it's a little fat. <laughs> Is it like palitos chinos? No. Mm -mm. Do you know Palitos Chinos? Yeah, 
I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but this this uh because my half my my dad say me pirinola because it's a little a little fat in the bottom. <laughs> and when I say a little baby, I I am little fat. <laughs> He <laughs> say pretty Nola, but every everybody say me pretty. <laughs> okay, wow. My my, my yes, uh, nephews, my brother, my everybody in my country. <laughs> Solo mis hijos no. <laughs> Do what who who do you admi admire, admire the most in your culture? Uh, I admire, admire uh, Simon Bolivar. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bolivar was from Venezuela, right? Yes, yeah. from, I was from Venezuela. Uh, who was the guy from Argentina? Uh, San Martin. Martin, yeah, yeah. So you had uh, Bolivar in Venezuela, Martin in Argentina. Who was in Mexico? There was somebody in Mexico that led the independence movement against. I don't know. Against Spain. Oh, you should know that one, Claudia. That's that's like our George Washington. So you had you had Bolivar in. In Venezuela, he's like yes. George Washington but, in the United but States. But Bolivar, Bo Bolivar, uh, give breakdown from the middle of the South American, and San Martin was the same. Yeah, uh, did the same with the other part. Yeah, uh, until until Peru, they both have a meeting. In Peru, but they but they give it down from South America of yeah. the uh, Spanish Spain, no? Okay, from the Spain. Uh, what do you want to change? Anything about your culture? Uh, I want to change the um um the 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 attitude of the person in my in my culture i need uh we need to uh ser how do you say we need to what ser we need to be ser yeah <laughs> to be to claudia be. to be <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we need to be uh, more friendly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Take turns with these questions. What's your what? name? My name is Claudia. Where are you from? I am from Venezuela. Where do you work? I'm work in Greeley. What do you do Careful, for fun? Careful, Claudia, it's not I'm work. Don't start adding I'm to I work. I work in Greeley. What do you do for fun? I play tennis for fun. Who do you like live with? Uh, my children and my husband and my pets live with me. What do you like to eat? I like to eat um, paella. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Do you like sports? Yes, I like sports. Ready, teacher. All right, let's review our verbs here. Claudia, to reserve. I reserve, you reserve, we reserve, they reserve, he reserves, she reserves, it reserves. 
to write. I write, you write, we write, they write, he writes, she writes, it writes. I drink, you drink, we drink, they drink, he drinks, she drinks, it drinks. I pay, you pay, we pay, they pay, he pays, she pays, it pays. I make, you make, we make, they make, he makes, she makes, it makes. Good. I live, you live, they live, we live, he lives, she lives, it lives. I learn, you learn, we learn, they learn, he learns, she learns, it learns. I could, you could, we could, they could, he could, she could, it could. I pay for the groceries. You reserve a table at the restaurant. We write three complete sentences. They make me a salad for lunch. Thank you. My parents cut vegetables. My sister learn French. Mark and Tom write novels. Our cousins drink iced tea. Good. He pays for the groceries. She, she pays a table. No, she reserves a table at the restaurant. My brother writes three complete sentences. Your sister always makes me a salad for lunch. My dad cooks vegetables. My sister learns French. Tom writes novels. Our cousin drinks iced tea. All right. Now, the verb do is a complex verb, right? Uh, by itself, it means to perform an activity, like to do homework, right? I do my homework after class. So let's practice here. Number one, Claudia. I do homework after class. You do housework on the weekend. We do yard work in the spring. They do chores after dinner. Uh, women do their women. hair. Women. women. Careful, women. Women do their hair before special occasions. My sister do their nails every mm. Friday. Careful, Rafael, because you're not pronouncing this S. My sisters. My sisters do their nails every Friday. Mark and Tom do projects at their office. Our cousins do the ditches. Our moms do laundry every day. Business owners do taxes every quarter. Good. She does homework after class. He does housework on the weekend. Bob does yard work in the spring. My friend does chores after dinner. My girlfriend does her hair before special occasions. My sister does her nails every day, every Friday. Mark does projects at his office. Our cousin does the ditches. Our mom does laundry every day. 
My accountant does my taxes for me. Okay, very good. There's a more common use for the verb do, which is as an auxiliary verb for making questions and negative statements, right? For example, Claudia, no, let's go with Rafael. Do you play basketball? No, I don't play basketball. Claudia, does he play basketball? No, he does not play basketball. Right? So how can we make these verbs negative? Rafa? I don't reserve. Yeah, I don't reserve. You go through the full conjugation. Sorry, sorry, I am the I am nanny today. Oh, okay. Go ahead, uh, Claudia. I do not reserve. You do not reserve. We do not reserve. They do not reserve. He doesn't not reserve. He does does not reserve. It does not reserve. Or doesn't. <laughs> I. I do not write, you do not write, we do not write, they do not write. He does not write, she does not write, it does not write. I do not drink, you do not drink, we do not drink, they do not drink. He does not drink, she does not drink, it does not drink. I do not pay. You do not pay. We do not, do not play. They do not play. Pay, he, pay. It's not play. Pay. It's pay. <laughs> pay. He does not pay. She does not pay. It does not pay. Rafa? I do not make. Uh, you don't make, we don't make, they don't make. He doesn't make, she doesn't make, it doesn't make. I do not live, you do not live, we do not live, they do not live. He uh, does not live, she does not live, it does not live. I don't learn, you don't learn, we don't learn, they don't learn. She doesn't learn, he doesn't learn, it doesn't learn. I do not cook, you do not cut, cook. Cut, not cook, cut, cut. 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 We do not, do not cut, they do not cut. He does not cut, she does not cut, it does not cut. Rafa, number one. No, uh, no. I don't write for the, I don't pay for the groceries. Uh, he doesn't uh, reserve a table at the restaurant. We don't write three complete sentences. My friend doesn't make me a salad for lunch. Tracy doesn't cut, cut vegetables. They don't learn French. Mar doesn't write novels. She doesn't drink iced tea. Very good. All right. We also use do to ask questions, right? So how do we turn these verbs into questions? Rafa? Do I reserve? You, do you reserve? We, do we reserve? Do they reserve? Does he reserve? Does she reserve? Does it reserve? Claudia. Do I write? Do you write? Do we write? Do they write? Does he write? Does she write? 
Does it write? Do I drink? Do you drink? Do we drink? Do they drink? Does he drink? Does she drink? Does it drink? Good. Do I pay? Do you pay? Do we pay? Do they pay? Does he pay? Does she pay? Does it pay? Do I make? Do you make? Do we make? Do they make? Does he make? Does she make? Does it make? Do I live? Do you live? Do we live? Do they live? Does he live? Does she live? Does it live? Do I learn? Do you learn? Do we learn? Do they learn? Does he learn? Does she learn? Does it learn? Do I cut? Do you cut? Do we cut? Do they cut? Does he cut? Does she cut? Does it cut? Uh, Make a question, Rafa. Uh, do you pay for the groceries? Uh, it's um, I. I. Look, look, Rafael, it's I. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I. This. Do I pay for the groceries? Does he reserve a table at the restaurant? Do we write three complete sentences? Does your friend make you salads for lunch? Does Tracy cut vegetables? Do they learn French? Does Mark uh, write novels? Does she drink iced tea? Very good. All right. Now, change this into a question and then answer saying yes or no. Number one, Claudia. Do I pay for the groceries? Yes, I pay for the groceries. No, I don't pay for the groceries. Good. Does he pay for the groceries? Yes, he pays for the groceries. No, he doesn't pay for the groceries. Does she reserve a table at the restaurant? Yes, she reserves a table at the restaurant. No, she doesn't reserve a, ta a table at the restaurant. Do we write three complete sentences? Yes, we write three complete, complete sentences. No, we don't write three complete sentences. Does my brother write three complete sentences? Uh, yes. Sentences, he, it's plural. Sentences. Sen sentences. Uh, Yes, he writes three complete sentences. No, they doesn't write three complete sentences. If it's he, it, we're still talking about my brother. My brother doesn't. Okay. I think you said they. Uh, do they make me a salad for lunch? Yes. They make me a salad for lunch. No, they don't make me a salad for lunch. Uh, does your sister make me a salad for lunch? Yes, uh, 
uh, your sister makes me salad for lunch? No. Your sister doesn't make me a salad for lunch. Do my parents cut vegetables? Yes, they cut vegetables. No, they don't cut vegetables. Does my dad cut vegetables? Uh, yes, my dad cuts vegetables. No, my dad doesn't cut vegetables. Uh, do my sisters learn French? Yes, they learn French. No, they don't learn French. It's the same teacher. No, I sis no this sister. No, it's a singular. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, does my sister learn French? Uh, yes, my sister learns French. Uh, no, my sister doesn't learn French. Uh, do Mark and Tom write novels? No, yes, they write novels. No, they don't write novels. Does Tom write novels? Uh, yes, Tom writes novels. Uh, no, Tom doesn't write novels. Uh, do our cousins drink iced tea? Yes, they drink iced tea. No, they don't drink iced tea. Uh, do our cousin? No, that. Does our cousin drink iced tea? Uh, yes, our cousin drinks ice, iced tea. Uh, no, our cousin uh, doesn't drink iced tea. True or false? It is a good idea to smile at people in the United States. True. True. People prefer to use nicknames in the United States. False. false. If you want to make friends, you should talk about yourself more than you listen to other people. False. False. There is a large variety of food in the United States. True. True. Americans hate spicy food. False. False. Independence Day, Memorial Day, and Veterans Day are patriotic holidays. True. The First Amendment is also called the supreme law of the land in the United States. False. Good, it's the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Freedom is a major cultural value that Americans share. True. All right. How do we conjugate the verb be? To be. I am, you are, we are, they are, he is, she is, it is. And negative? I am not. You are not, we are not, they are not, he is not, she is not, it is not. All right. And how do you make a question? We cross the subject and the verb, right? The, the, the rule of X. How can you turn this into questions? And I alert you to am with M, am. <laughs> Am I allergic to peanuts? Uh, are you allergic to peanuts? Are we allergic to peanuts? Are they allergic to peanuts? Is he allergic to peanuts? Is she allergic to peanuts? It is allergic to peanuts. Take turns asking each other these questions. Are you allergic to eggs? No, I am not allergic to eggs. Are you allergic to green beans? No, no. these questions here, soy. Soy, yes. Are you allergic to soy? 
Uh, no, I am not allergic to soy. Are you allergic to milk? No, I am no allergic to milk. Are you allergic to nuts? No, I am no allergic to nuts. Are you allergic to wheat? Uh, no, I am not allergic to wheat. Are you allergic to peanuts? No, I am no allergic to peanuts. Are you allergic to uh, cut? fish cut? Catfish, se puede decir. <laughs> no, I am no allergic to fish. Are you allergic to salmon? Salmon. 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 No, I am not allergic to salmon. Are you allergic to Hollywood? No, I am not allergic to Hollywood. Huh? What is the pronunciation? Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> Are you allergic to tuna? Uh, no, I am not allergic to tuna. Are, uh, uh, are you allergic to cod? What is cod, teacher? What does cod mean? Cod is a kind of fish, cod. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know in Spanish what kind of fish it is. Yeah. Cod. I think I, um, is the same a uh, tilapia or no? It's not the same as tilapia. No, okay. Let's see here. Bacalao. Bacalao. Oh, this is one of my favorite fish. Bacalao. El, el bacalao. And then halibut. Mm -hmm. Ibogloso. Rora Bayo? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What are you talking about, teacher? This uh, one, I... the, the halibut, it's a kind of fish. Yes. Aquí dice que, que es hipogloso? No. no. Other, other means? Other hipogloso, means? el roda bayo? Ah, uh, ah, uh, robalo, robal, robalo, 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 yes, robalo, robalo. Do you know about robalo? Eh, robalo, yes, it's a kind. O puede ser también alibu, igual alibu. Oh, okay. Alibu, okay. Fletan, fletan negro. No. También aquí dice. Okay. No, no sé. Es un tipo de pescado. Okay. <laughs> Are you allergic to shrimp? No, I am no allergic to shrimp. Are you allergic to lobster? Uh, no, I am not allergic to lobster. Are you allergic to crab? No, I am no allergic to crab. Are you allergic to oysters? No, I am not allergic to oysters. Okay, guys. 